Okay, so this is just a short video on me doing an experiment with this yarn that you see here. So I dyed this in another video, which I will link here. Um, and I dyed it with black beans and red cabbage. And it ended up having this sort of bluish colour at one end, which you can see here. And a greenish mossy colour at the other end. And not a lot in the middle. So I thought I would experiment with some ice stein and some Kool-Aid. So here you see me putting some ice on top of the yarn, which I've spread out. And now I'm going to sprinkle on some Kool-Aid. And we will let that melt through the yarn. And there's some fabric underneath to soak it all up. So I'm using a bright green and a blue to match the tones of the yarn. And yep, sprinkling it on just a little bit at first. There we go, now you can see the top of it. Could have probably used a bit more ice, but there you go. And now I'm just showing you the way it's melting through. mossy green colour there and then you can see underneath that fabric and that bright green water <laughs> that is leaking through the yarn at this point I wasn't sure if any of the colour was going to stick to the yarn but it does so yep and then I do the same again I turn the yarn a little bit, do exactly the same again. Sorry about the camera work on this one. I'm trying to do everything one-handed. So just sprinkling on the blue. I'm trying to put the blue more concentrated towards the green end and the green towards the blue end to sort of bring that colour throughout the yarn. So it's more cohesive. And I did this two or three times this uh, move the yarn put more ice on and then sprinkle more Kool-Aid over I believe in the end I did use the whole two packets of Kool-Aid most of it seemed to soak through to the fabric that was underneath but that's okay I got a really bright coloured fabric out of it mostly yellows and greens Okay, so I put the yarn onto my knitting machine, um, this little round one, um, to knit it up, see how it was knitting, um, see if I wanted to maybe knit it into a blanket and then dye it again. But actually, um, it's not that I quite like it. I thought it would be more white space, but those pops of colour are quite um, nice. They're still random, but they're kind of regular, if that makes any sense. So it makes a nice pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it as it is, and I'm probably going to make a scarf or something from it. So yeah. Um, these bright splashes are where the Kool-Aid hit. Um, it came out a lot different than I was expecting. Uh, maybe I could have put more ice on it or something to let it spread out a bit more, but it kind of just melted and a few little spots went on and then the rest went into the bowl underneath, which was interesting. We did get a few spots of the blue, but the blue seemed to bleed through straight through the yarn more which is probably something to do with how fast that colour strikes um I love how we get these random pops of like there's like a reddish colour there there's like lilacs this is a really nice yarn actually and I think it's going to make a lovely scarf so and I've probably got enough to make a scarf and a hat because I've got 200 grams here so yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed that little 
experiment uh, with lots of fun and I will see you again soon.